what's uh welcome back to the home living solutions show today we have a really good show for you guys we are going to be talking about the seven home buying steps or tips um so how are you doing today first of all i am doing great how are you today Jalen? doing pretty good pretty good i'm excited to talk about what we came here to talk about today um i forgot to introduce myself my name is Jalen. Uh, and i am leilani and we are home living solutions that's right yay yes so let's just get right into the video today um home buying is like something that a lot of people you know are not really familiar with the, the process it's a lot of steps but you know from learning from you they don't really seem to be that complicated it's just a lot of people don't know the steps so i think this is a good topic today because i feel like a lot of people have these questions so let's just jump right in so the first step before anybody starts looking for a house or you know start even thinking about purchasing a home what is the first step well the first step before you even purchasing the home or even in the process is to make sure you have a good credit score. Credit is the main key to everything because that's how you get approved. That's how you get qualified. So make sure you are looking at your credit regularly to make sure you're you know, paying all your bills on time and your credit score is at a good rate, like a minimum of about 660. I mean, it, some people may require a little bit less than six, um, but for us and for, for this show, we're gonna say 660 and make it like a minimum of that because pretty much for sure, um, depending on what else you have on your credit, like any slow payments or any uh, foreclosures or anything like that um, could interfere, but at least minimum having about a 660 credit score is a good start. Okay, and then like for credit scores, that kind of just depends on the lender too. Like some lenders want more or higher credit or some lenders require higher credit than other like mortgage right. lenders. Right, oh. right. So it depends on the it depends on the lender um, okay. right, and the type of loan that you're you're getting. Right. Okay. So yes. step one is making sure you have you know a good decent credit score. So six sixty is sort of like the target where we want to be at to feel comfortable. Um, right. Better than that, of course, is even better. Um, but that's what we're going for, six sixty. Right. Up. That's like a minimum. Okay, that's cool. All right, so step two, which leads us to after our credit is good, we're ready to make that next step, which would be to get approved, right? Right, you wanna get approved, you wanna go find your mortgage lender. For sure, you wanna get make sure that you can get qualified to even purchase a home. So you wanna find a lender. That can be your bank, uh, your credit union. Uh, you can contact homelivingsolution.com and we can recommend some lenders as well to help you with that process and getting started. And they will break down the details as far as what you need to, what should be showing on your credit score, what should not be on your credit score. Um, they'll let you know exactly um, how much down payment you will need um, based on the amount of house that you're looking for. So if you want a $300,000 house, um, they'll let you know exactly I mean, we're not the lender, so we're, we're, we're just guesstimating here, but um, the lender will let you know exactly how much money you need to have in your bank because you still need to have some money in your bank because they're not going to approve you if you're using all of your money for the down payment. Um, right. You got to have some money in the bank and you got to have money play, put aside for the down payment. So once you speak to your lender, um, they will break down every single step of the, of the process in order for them to approve you on their end. Okay. So yeah, essentially it's just kind of pointless to even go look for a house if you haven't got approved yet, because you really don't know how much house you qualify for if you haven't got approved yet. Right. So you don't even want to go looking for a lender. I mean, I'm sorry, not a lender, but a realtor, uh, because the realtor is going to direct you right back to a lender because um, it's kind of like a waste of time for a realtor to start sending you properties in the $500,000 range. And then the lender comes back and say, uh, well, they're only approved for $300,000. So then we have to go back and send you properties in the $300,000 range. And then again, it doesn't even make sense to start showing properties without the approval letter. So we uh, we at Home Living Solutions, we don't show properties without the approval letter, 
approval letter because it's kind of a waste of everybody's time, you know. Right. Once we start showing these properties and you get out there and you see something you like and want to make an offer on it, you can't make an offer without an approval letter. So you right. have to have that approval letter from the bank lender and then we can submit that contract. And that leads us to the next point, which was to hire a realtor. But right. we already touched on that. Basically, right. don't even come, you know, don't even start looking yet until you have the approval. Then you hire the realtor. The realtor is that, you know, the third person in that this, right. this process. So we are talking right. about that. What are the duties of a realtor? Why is it important to have a realtor? You know, you got to prove what, what, can, what does the realtor actually do for you? Because a lot of people, you know, they have all these things coming out now with um, like, what is it, Zillow or, you know, things where you go in there, you can get a house. What's so important about a realtor? What, why would working with a realtor be important? Well, because working with a realtor, like I said, we can help you uh, with the process, answer questions, you know, uh, Zillow is just, you see a property on there and you can apply for it, but then you have no one to really ask questions to help you with the buying process. So you're gonna need a comparative market analysis, like I was saying before, um, a comparative market analysis is when we just uh, gather about four or five properties in that particular market area that you're looking for. And then we put a price point on it, comparing the prices on all the properties and what they're selling for. And then we negotiate that, comparing them together to see exactly how much you need to offer on the house that you're looking for. So, um, and if you're just shopping around online without having a realtor, you're not receiving your comparative market analysis, you're not brainstorming with the realtor, you know, uh, helping you negotiate, the realtor actually writes up the contract for you and submits the offer. You're, you're kind of the middle person, you don't even have to deal with all the hassle of dealing back and forth with the, with the owner and the, um, the other realtor. So basically the realtors, the both of the realtors, the realtor that's representing the seller and the realtor that's representing the buyer are dealing with each other. And they're, and the landlord, I mean, and the owner and the buyer are kind of just able to sit back and relax while we're doing all the work for you. So whenever right. you come in, all you have to do is basically just sign off on the paperwork or just go see the properties. Once you select the properties, you look at all the properties and then we're contacting the owners, asking them if they're going to fix this or not fix this, you know, just all the problems we may see in the property recommended to you. We recommend you get inspections, appraisals and all that, which we're going to go over a little bit um, here in the next few steps. But you got to get all that done. And without a realtor, you know, without someone helping you, we basically guide you through the process. Because a lot of times we're dealing with a lot of first time home buyers and they don't know anything about the, the real estate industry or the buying process. And that's basically what this video is for for mainly first time home buyers because if you've already purchased a home you pretty much understand the steps and you already know what to do so you're not really bothered you're ready to give it all to the realtor let them handle it just show up and sign the paperwork but for this particular video first time home buyers they have a lot of questions and so they want to know the steps and i've had realtors to come in and didn't know i mean not realtors but buyers coming in and didn't know where to begin where to start or what to do so this video is the reason why we're putting this together to kind of help them understand the reason you need a realtor. And I also have this book um, about home buying tips. If you look in here and read thoroughly through it, it'll also go in more detail than what we're explaining about the home buying process. They're negotiating the comparative uh, marketing analysis and when to get a realtor, when to get a lender, when to get the house appraised. All of those details will go more in depth in the book. Okay. Well, with that being said, I think you answered that great. Let's go on to uh, step number four, which is making a list of the five must-haves that you want in your property, in your, in your home. So why is that important? Well, it's important because a lot of times home buyers, they want to have a whirlpool tub, I mean, a jacuzzi tub with the, with the jets. Um, they may want a pool in the backyard or they may want to have this huge kitchen with an island in it. I mean, um, and a huge living room. So those five key things. So when you tell the realtor those main points of what of those must haves, then when we're doing our search for you, we're only searching properties with those particular things. So we won't be sending you a list of property that, that properties 
that don't have any of the details that you're interested in. So it's best to pick out the five must-haves in a property. I mean, and then you will be happy with your choice and and what you select. And then you'll be happy with your realtor because you're just not sending you a bunch of random properties and wasting your time. Because we don't want to waste your time. We want to send you exactly what you want in the area that you want and everything that you want in it. At least if we can't get the five, at least three of the, the main things. Mainly right. the kitchen is what I'm what I'm usually seeing with uh yeah kitchen is really that important. The kitchen is the main selling point of of the house. Yes, definitely. Okay, so you take you know a potential buyer out, they find a house that they like. Um, what is the next step? They got the five things they want. They found you know this house. What do they do next? So then again, we go to the negotiation process. Um, we sit down at the table. We, again, we do the comparative market analysis, seeing what the homes are selling for in that area, and then we go at them with a with, with whatever you decide, or we decide together to come up with it as an offering price. I draw up a contract, send it all to you to sign off on, and then you have to have your earnest money, your option fee. We get all that together and submit to the uh, agent, and she'll submit to the owner, and we just wait. But well, anyway. Um... So for first time home buyers, can you explain what option fee is and you know what earnest money is? Because those are terms that most people would not be familiar with. Um, the option fee is uh, about a hundred dollars, and it is a fee to give you the option to back out of the deal after whatever agreed upon days. A lot of times it's between five and seven days. If you change your mind and don't want the property, then they'll get to keep that hundred dollar option fee. Um, so the earnest money is like a deposit, like putting down a deposit on the house, putting down a deposit on the rental property. But it's just um, letting the seller know that you're serious about, you know, the purchase of the property. And that's usually one percent of the purchase price of the home. So um, that is required when you submit an offer, the option fee and the earnest money, earnest money fee. But you will not receive that earnest money fee back if you decide to back out of the property and it was nothing wrong with the property. The only way you'd be able to get your money back is if uh, you had the house inspected and the inspection failed. I mean, it, it, it failed the inspection or the appraisal was the house wasn't appraised at the amount that the home was listed for. <clears throat> excuse me. Then you'll be able to get a refund on that um, earnest money. But if you just decide, oh, I don't want this property anymore. And, and the buyer and the seller lost out on a potential buyer because we thought that you were going to purchase that home, um, then you'll lose that earnest money fee within that certain time frame that you agree on in the contract. Okay, perfect. Um, so after everything is done, you've submitted the offer. We have our, uh, what is it, option fee. We have our earnest money handed over. The next step would be what? Get accepted, right? Accepting the, accepting the offer. Um, right. So all that, the earnest money is uh, given to the title company. Um, the title company holds all that information. And then um, once the homeowner decides that he will accept the offer, then immediately it's time to get that home inspected because we only have a certain amount of days, whatever is agreed in the contract, a certain amount of days to get the home inspected and the home appraised. And then uh, once that is done, and the, if the inspection is approved, the appraisal is fine, then it takes about 30 days for the process to complete with the title company to transfer titles and do everything that they need to do on their end. Um, and then that's about it. And then we'll be headed to the closing table with the title company. And that's where you'll pick up your keys. Um, you'll be paying deposits, closing costs. Uh, we'll, we'll come out of... Uh, whatever fees that the, either the seller or the buyer is gonna pay. It depends on the what's negotiated in the contract is who's gonna cover the closing costs. But other than that, that is the final step. Closing and picking up your keys. Okay, well, that's pretty straightforward. So the final step is closing. You got your keys and you're ready to go. So that's pretty cool. So honestly, it's really not that difficult. It's, not really a strenuous process. It's pretty simple. It's just takes time. If, um, if people are not familiar with the process, it can seem kind of like um, intimidating, but 
you know, once you break it down like that, it's really not so bad. You just want to make sure that you have everything, pretty much all your ducks in a row, you know, credit score good, get it, um, you know, go ahead and get approved, all that before you even start the process. So once you start the, the process, you know, the ball's rolling and it shouldn't really take long. However, we've been seeing in, in these in this current, you know, predicament of the housing market, things are flying off the market. So if you That's do, right. if you do get approved and you are ready to start looking for a house, then it's like, you got to really go, because there's so many people. Houston is a very hot market right now. Like the houses are not staying on market long. So um, yeah, that was a great explanation of the home buying process. Again, guys, if you want to learn more about that, the book, she has a book out. Um, buying a home uh go ahead and give that book a, uh, a view it's on the website we got the website here and i'll kind of put it on the screen but homelivingsolution.com you can follow us on instagram at home living solutions um yeah and that's it um do you have anything that you want to say uh any closing words before we go ahead and wrap this up yes i would like to say uh, to, just to reiterate, don't forget to get this book because um, we just went over basic information with the home buying process. But if you get the book, you'll get to go into more details about the steps and any questions that you may have, it'll probably be answered in the book and you can get it online again at homelivingsolution.com. You can go to leilanirealtor.com um, and then you can, you can find it on the website there as well. So and I believe it's free, right? It's a free ebook, right. a free ebook. Uh, unless you want a hard copy, just fill out the little questionnaire on the website and then I'll, eat, I'll send you a hard copy. You'll just have to pay for shipping, but the online ebook is totally free. You just download it, click on the link, download it, read it. And then there you go, you have all the steps. But I would advise you to definitely read the book before contacting any realtor um, because you want to go in seeming not knowledgeable as well. You don't want a realtor to just take it. Because you have some realtors that will take advantage of you because you don't know the steps. And what I mean by that is um, they won't really help you with the negotiation process. They won't. Some realtors won't really help you with that process. I, I mean, I'm hoping that they will because that's their due diligence to do that. But at least you'll go in knowledgeable. And, knowing you know, what to expect from everybody. Knowing what to expect. And you just, and a realtor or anybody won't be able to tell you just anything about the home buying process. You'll have your own knowledge. Make sure you do your own research. Take your own notes. So when it's time, you already know what to do, what steps to take, and you have your mind made up on how you want to do things. And all you're doing is telling the realtor what you want, and they're doing exactly what you, you are requesting of them. And that's it. All right. Well, on that note, my name is Jalen again. And I am Leilani. This is Home Living Solutions, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. We're out.